Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new video and welcome back to my channel Tiffy. Today I wanted to do a little haul of Crazy Factory. Crazy Factory is, as far as I know, a German webpage where you can buy stuff to widen your earlobe holes. I've bought my stuff there for the last couple of years. I've always been very happy with that brand and that retailer. So. I really can recommend these guys, but as far as you know, I'm too small to have any product placements or anything like that, so that is not happening in this video at all. So I bought a couple of um, what they call Schnecken. I stopped stretching my earlobe for a good while because I just wanted to have this sort of mm, earring moment, but I'm not a fan of earrings because I'm so allergic to so many fake things and these plastic acryl or titanium or wood pieces that you can put into your earlobe with these stretched out earlobes basically um, work out way better for me and it's like a long-term base for that. Okay, that was enough of an introduction, so let's dive into the products that I got. I always think it's very funny that these products always come in such small plastic bags and it always looks kind of illegal when you get their stuff. But like everything's fine with them, everything is very safe and secure and uh, it just makes sense, but it always looks pretty funny having all these like small bags. Let's begin with the one piece that isn't uh, an earpiece basically. That is this necklace here. What I'm really happy about and what I really like because it has this 90s vibe and I never had this actually. So I was very happy and it was very, very cheap. It was only one euros and 49 cents. So it's very, very cool and totally worth it. It didn't break on me yet. <laughs> what you just have to be careful with is when you brush your hair and you like do it in the back and kind of stroke your neck that your brush can hang on this and kind of rip it apart. So be careful. Then one of the first spirals. I bought all of these in the size 6 millimeters because that was where my earlobe stretching size was basically. In that meantime when I was waiting for that order I put in this piece and this is 8 millimeters. It's fairly bigger than uh, the 6 millimeters. You don't think about that but like this thing was massive in my ear and it kind of, of course, stretched it out a little more and I now have to like wait until it kind of grows back together again. So I have to be a little careful with these pieces that I ordered now because they are smaller and they can't fall out if I don't pay attention. And a question I get asked fairly often with like my friends or my colleagues or someone, yes, these earlobes grow together again. At least mine do that and like I'm 21 and I have still mediocre skin and everything and tissue. I have had tunnels and like stretch out earlobes on both sides, not to the expense of like two centimeters or something. It wasn't that big. I have heard that like until 12 millimeters is the highest that you can go um, until like where it doesn't really grow back again because you know these people that have like really long ones already because they have like had these big of tunnel in there or a spiral or whatever but I never went over 12 I think and this one completely grew back together it is still of course an ear hole because I had my ear holes or ear lobe holes I don't know how it's called in English properly um, stanced when I was very young so I don't think they will ever grow back together again but that's fine that's completely good <laughs> so this is the first one this was 159 it was very cheap I thought it had a very cute and cool form as I told you I bought these things more like as an accessory not for a stretching device and just to have like a hanging ear piece a very standard spiral that I haven't been taking out yet actually that I haven't had in my hands so far so this is the first one so this spiral retails for 1 euros and 89 cents this one has like these uh, little silver reflections on it. It looks very cool. I like the blue in it. I think it looks very modern, but like you have to be careful, especially when you are in a relationship or like when you're meeting people in that way, that you don't poke their eyes out with these things. It can be pretty dangerous because I had like a longer one once and sometimes when I like was sleeping or something, it turned up and it was kind of standing up like that and 
if you get unlucky, <laughs> it can get very, very bad. So be careful with these things and always pay attention. Then the next spiral that I haven't opened yet, that has been the most drug looking <laughs> one in this little plastic bag with this like extra puffiness inside. It's a very massive one. It's very big and I can't wait to put this on and like try it out. You can see that I went more for like black and blue themes this time, which I think is very cool because summer is coming, like fresh colors are cool. I mean sure, ice blue is probably more winter shit, but I thought it was pretty cool and a different color for me, basically. I don't have a lot of blue happening in my closet. Why would I then buy blue stuff? Because I can't even match it, but like, never mind. <laughs> wow. Now this is the first impressions one. Is this glass? This is amazing. This looks so cool. I'm so impressed. I didn't get this out of the package so far and it looks so great. And also another thing with these spirals, when you have longer hair, you have to like get used to them at first because a lot of the times they get like stuck in these things and like when you want to pull your hair behind your ears or something, you kind of have to find out the movements that you have to make to unwrap them from that spiral. But it's possible, it's doable and I'm in love with this one. This one is beautiful. All right, so what I'm just seeing here right now is that they say it is for the left ear. I can see why they would say that, but if you put it here on the other side, I should have probably paid attention to it before I bought this, but I think it doesn't really matter so much in which ear you put it. It's just going to be like looking outside from this and from the other side it would look a little different, but I'm fine with it. Maybe at one point I'm going to stretch out my like left ear again and let this grow together again and then I can just wear this one properly. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that. That sucks. And this one is a little more pricey. It's like 4 euros and 29 cents. Then a huge motherfucker, really. Um, this is also like in the description called uh, an ear weight and I'm not really sure. I, I think I just looked at the picture and thought this one because of the wing like looked really cool and I liked it a lot But like I don't think I will be wearing these a lot Especially now that I have been wearing a bigger size is basically a weight and that Tears it like kind of open more and if you like have this very heavy thing hanging in your ear It will make your ear hole basically bigger and that is not what I currently want maybe for like some sort of an event or something I can wear this but I don't think this will be a long-term everyday piece then another claw that I currently cannot find because either I kicked it up away somewhere when I took it out for the shower or something or the cat started playing with it it must be somewhere I just had it yesterday and now when I want to film that video it's gone it's so typical but that is actually my favorite one when I saw it I immediately took it out of the bag and like wore it immediately you saw it actually in the last couple of videos I was already wearing it it's like looking like a swan it's made out of wood which I really like for these kind of earpieces when it's out of wood it's very light and it's very very good for my allergic ass I love this one um, it's not annoying although it looks very long but it's just like a straight line down so it can't be better than that basically also, because it is a claw, you can just like, when you want to take it off, there's no issue in that. You just like, take it out like that. <laughs> you can take it off for sleeping, you can take it off for showering, it will be no issue. But like a lot of those, you have like to slowly and carefully pull them out uh, because it, they're so far in and sometimes your earlobe is still kind of, not infected, but like irritated by all the stretching and stuff like that, but like especially wood pieces are so soft and kind to your skin. I love it. That one was by far the priciest one. Um, it was retailed for six euros and 49 cents, but it was totally worth it. I'm so happy I bought that one if I could find it. <laughs> so these are all the items that I have been buying this time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some things that you would like to get yourself. I don't know. 
if you would like to stretch out your earlobe too now, yay, we're so 2012. As I have already told you in the beginning, there is a giveaway happening and I'm really excited for that one. This giveaway will take place as soon as I reach 350 subscribers, which I'm very excited for. All you have to do to win the giveaway is to be a subscriber to my channel, of course. Leave a nice comment if you would like and you can even hire your winning chances by following my Twitter and my Instagram. You get the chance to win a 10 euros Amazon gift card, which is very cool for basically doing nothing. So make sure you participate and good luck. Hmm? What's up, Sandra? You wanna say hi to the camera? <laughs> Ooh, little fat cat. Hmm? Oh, you're the purring is so loud. Today's shout out goes to Ivan Davies. Thank you so much for commenting under my latest video that my boyfriend did a voiceover for. His comment was, best voiceover that I have ever heard, lol. And I totally think the same. He's a douche, he's an idiot, but he's a lovely idiot. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheerio.